Why can't we trust atoms? Because they make up everything. But this is not about the trust of atoms. This is about a zero trust architecture, ZTA. And this is an enterprise cyber security architecture that is based on zero trust principles and designed to prevent data breaches and limit internal lateral movement. So let's look into zero trust architecture, ZTA, and some scenarios and threats. It's looking into assessment, control, and recovery operations. A zero trust solution requires operational capabilities that never trust, always verify, treat every user, device, application, workload, and data flow as untrusted. And when we have zero trust security in place, we can provide security to anywhere, everywhere, on whatever device that people choose to use. Security is strengthened by including things like access management as a core of zero trust architecture to create a zero trust extended ecosystem. ZTA is not in itself a specific technology. Instead, it's a cutting edge operational philosophy that security architects utilize to preserve the networks of today. Traditionally, the security on the network has been focused mainly on its perimeter. And Secure Access Service Edge, SASE, is a network architecture that combines WAN capabilities with cloud native security functions like secure web gateways, cloud access security brokers, firewalls, and zero trust network access. And the functions are provided as a service for SASE vendors. And the National Institute of Standards and Technology, commonly referred to NIST, and they published a framework for users to consider as a cyber framework security model, the zero trust architecture model. And was officially published in NIST SBA 800-207 in late 2020. And in 2010, John Kindervag, an analyst at Forrester Research, coined the term zero trust, which centered around the idea that an organization shouldn't trust anything that is inside or outside of its perimeters. And there are three components in a zero trust network, user application, authentication, device authentication, and trust. And the benefits of zero trust architecture, they maximize using the authority of authentication, increased visibility into all user activities, and I mean all, and the ability to dynamically provide access based on current use case. It reduces the attacker's ability to move laterally within an organization. It's rooted in the principle of never trust, just always verify. Zero trust is designed to protect modern environments and enable digital transformation by using strong authentication methods. It's leveraging network segmentation, preventing that lateral movement and providing layer seven threat prevention and simplifying granular least. SIEM, security information and event management. That technology supports threat detection compliance and security incident management through the collection and analysis, both near real time and historical of security events, as well as a wide variety of other event and contextual data sources. And the strategy around zero trust boils down to scrutinizing any incoming traffic. But the difference between this and other security models is that even internal traffic, meaning traffic that doesn't cross a perimeter of the organization must be treated as a potential danger all the same. So literally inspect and log all traffic, allow internal users to access the network services through remote access and zero trust demands full control of everything, everything requesting access. But when it's outside of the perimeter, it falters. It's a holistic strategic approach to security. This ensures that everyone and every device granted access is exactly who and what they say they are. These days, data is spread across an almost infinite number of services, devices, applications, and people. And in closing, 
Zero Trust draws on technologies such as multi-factor authentication, which is known as EM, orchestration, analytics, encryption, scoring, and file system permissions. That's what it's drawing on. And Zero Trust also calls for governance policies, such as giving users the least amount of access that they need to accomplish a specific task. And that brings us to the end of this video on Zero Trust ZTA. My name is Ian Hillman. Thank you for listening this far. Comment, rate, and subscribe. Smash the like button if this video helped you. And see you in the next video.